Welcome back to my Let's Play for Wild Arms Alter Code F. Now we need to get heading over to the Epitaph of the Sea of Wind, I believe it's called, right? But first, we're gonna go over here because there's an item we can pick up, so we're not on top of it. And then we need to go to the other end of the island. Should be over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Sea of Wind Epitaph. Yeah. Come on, I want to go in. I actually worked all the way through this thing earlier, but at this point I don't have enough time to basically go all the way through it again, really, and get uploaded today. Um, we might get to about the halfway point. So just get jumped. Ambush, yeah. Uh, what sucks is these things are invisible, and you can't even hurt them until after you've hit them with lightning. Until that point, they're immune to all damage unless they take away their immunity on their own choice. Of their, uh, one, of, one of their own moves, which like messes with their elemental alignment or something. This really bites. Yeah, this move. This also makes them vulnerable to attacks. I'd really prefer not to fight most of the enemies in here, to be honest. I guess I'll do what I have to. Come on, what is it? Oh, it's just a Gimmel coin? Those are a dime a dozen. They're everywhere, I swear. Jeez. Um, touch the button, come on. That door that's open up there is actually for an elevator, and we can't use it until we get to the top from that door to activate the power supply. So. Nothing we can do down here. Unless I have a duplicator key, there's nothing I can do about this door. Oh, I do have one. Good. I wish you could sort of buy these somewhere right now, but whatever. Okay, take that skill, take that. There might be a book in here somewhere that might be worth reading. Maybe. Okay. Oh, a dirty magazine? Well, we can try and read it, but we can't, because... We have a lady near here, and even if you switch over to Okami, they still won't let her read, her cut, read it because there's a lady nearby, even if it's herself. Go figure. Oh. Darn. I still want to be able to get in here without getting hit again. There's really nothing to do but head up these ladders for now. I'm pretty sure this is a puzzle room, I think. I know there's a couple in here. Yeah, it is. Sorry, too bit too far out. Punch you. This wasn't the bright side coming back here after I've already done all this work it means it's a bit easier. Oh, almost screwed that up on accident. Come on, move it further forward. Now we can knock this one. Into the wall. And boom into place. Yeah, I got a bit excited the first time and knocked one of them down too early and screwed myself. The first time I did it. I'm not afraid to admit I screwed something up, okay? Okay. Come on. Up the ladder we go. Oh. Yeah, you're on going here. This shows you another puzzle. 
but we can't solve it just yet. We have to come in through um the elevator actually. This puzzle's a bit trickier, and I'm probably ain't gonna have it as memorized as the last one. Okay. Further up. We're gonna have to switch characters here for a moment, too. Okay. Jack feels thousands of people's feelings for the rusted sword. Wow, that's been wielded by thousands of people? That's one old blade. Axel Smash enables you to shoot at lightning speed. Well, there's no other effect involved, it is 15 times stronger than Speed Fang. Power can also increase with the use of Accelerator. So basically it's just a super powered Speed Fang, gotcha. Probably costs a lot more MP to use, too. Oh yeah, if you investigate over here, there's a gap small enough for a mouse to go through. The other switch, though, well, you're gonna have to... Get up high and come down on top of that one. Okay. Uh, am I over top of it? Yeah. Yeah, if you just walk on it, it just doesn't go off. You gotta crush it from above. Don't fall down. This is enough of a pain. I mean, I'm already assuming we're gonna get hit for at least one more battle before we get to this door. Making good timing at least. Yeah, let me in the room. Uh, this is the room where you can activate the elevator. But you also want to read the books. Because they give you clues to how to operate the elevator. Because you have to use passwords. We'll be coming back to this room later. Now this one will tell you the passwords for the first and this floor. Each floor of the facility is named after elements of or properties which shape the world. The first floor is named Terra, the fifth floor is named Sky, and that's the floor we're on currently. Between Terra and Sky is a secret that unlocks the sixth floor, the Sea of Stars. Well, what's between them? Well, you can find that in this book. The world is shaped by the Sea of Wind, or Sky. The Earth, or Terra, supports the Sky. Between Sky and Terra are the creatures called humans, which are only supported by both. Above them all, lies another vast sea. The sea remains yet unknown, the Sea of Stars. And this book doesn't tell you much of anything, I don't think. Despite the difference in our age and culture, we have the same dream. Let's catch the vast sky with our hands. Let's embrace the blue sky with our arms. Bonds secured by arm. Thoughts inspired by arm. People make fun of our belief in a human aviation device, but we just laugh and take pride in our foolishness. Our foolish dreams are piling up high, someday high enough to reach the sea of wind. It's a bit surprising they call themselves foolish, but whatever. Oh yeah, I gotta activate the switch. Doy. If you're paying attention, it should be obvious. The password we need to enter is between Earth and Sky. Humans. I missed that the first time. It took me a while to figure it out. So, yeah. Oh, just human? I can do that. No S required, okay.
I don't get why they had to have a password system for this. And this one's a bit of a pain. Um, hopefully I don't mess this up. Again, if I hit that one, <sighs> great. Oh, shoot. So that one over, I'd be screwed because I'd be stuck. And then I guess we can just bash you around again, right? Kaboom. Skadoosh. And the door is unlocked. Right, I'm going, I might actually be able to make it all the way through here. But take whatever that is, um, take the card. Yeah, I'll read it. Among post-war scholars, ARM was an acronym for Ancient Relics Machine. However, 1,000 years ago, when ARM was created, each of the three letters had a different meaning. Artificial Rebirth Matricide Machine. Matricide doesn't sound very good. These words symbolize total annihilation. One scholar hypothesized that ARM uses the biomechanical structure of demon bodies. Demon power itself to destroy demons. To everyone's dismay, this hypothesis would support the notion of Arm leading to self-destruction. Arm is known as the spawn of demons. People despite its cursed power. Even demons distance, them, distance themselves from the bearer. Arm is the ultimate creation with a dark fortune. Shall only be used by those who can overcome its seductive power and have enough heart to pacify its desire to kill. And I'm taking this. Is this some kind of flight experiment? Fluid mechanics? Aviation theory? Yes, it definitely looks that way. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? Energy amplifier? Rune drive? Give me a second. Yes, I see it now. This magnificent work is almost ready. The experiment is nearly concluded. Ever since that Asgard incident, you remind me of a certain doctor. Anyway, explain to us what's going on here. In a nutshell, this device can multiply the energy by five or even ten times. But there are a few flaws. The output is difficult to stabilize. Plus, amplified energy creates a massive reaction. A rune drive is just simply too much for a sensitive aviation device like this one. If that's the case, can we use it? It's too dangerous. Do you think we can withstand the power when this device can't? I think what's more dangerous is to become addicted to power. Once we're addicted to power, there'll be nothing separating us from the, those demons. I see your point, but are we just giving up on this? 
Well, the rune drive should not be ignored. Just because we can't use it doesn't mean it's not useful to someone else. Who? Demons? Never! If they got their hands on this rune drive... Well, it's not here. It may be somewhere in this tower. Let's go search for it. Though I'd like to know how Earth, the demon that we're going to be facing off against soon even got to it. I mean, I had to do all this work just to figure out the passwords and stuff to navigate this tower, and he just does it. Uh, whatever game, this just have to make sense. And we're going to Sky. It should take us back to the previous floor. I guess they figured Sea of Wind would be too lengthy a password, so Sky was easier. to this door, and we're going to have to go to the items and pull it out. Here it is. Some sort of event item? Okay. I guess we'll have to make use of it sometime later down the road. There really isn't anything else to stop us here at this point. Besides an opponent that's gonna basically storm, um, not storm, stomp us into the ground yet again. It's actually waiting for us in this room. If there's anything of interest down here, I probably should go look at it. Are there any books? Nope, nothing. Uh, I don't know what he does, to be honest. I'll put that on. I don't know if it's going to be much help, but I'll take it. Take it. Okay. Yeah, it's empty, alright. We got beat to the punch. This place is a lot easier when you know all the puzzles, I suppose. Where's the rune drive? Damn, are we too late? I hear bells. Those are funeral chimes. Who stole the rune drive is still here, calling us. Sadly, the bell tolls for thee, because he's not going down. Or this is the epitaph of lost hope that conquered the Sea of Wind. What do you want in your epitaph, you human warriors? Show yourself. Why you demons always hide? Demon? Ha, that'd be the least of what I am. However, you are free to attack me any way you choose. It's my way to accept any form of battle. Okay, I challenge you to a children's card game. How about that? And your mission is also to conquer this planet? On the battlefield, the goal is to quench my thirst, nothing else. That's so shallow. I cannot fight you. There's no good reason. Fair enough. Shall I give you a reason then? How do you pull that out of his sleeve? Magic? Is he a wizard? Is that the rune drive? Al Hazad would surely enjoy this toy. Rage against rage. That's my style. With a spirit like that, I think you and I will get along just fine. Looks like there's no other way but to fight. The stage is set. My name is Boomerang. Accept this bell as my greeting. And it's quite the greeting. 
Of course, we already got to meet him earlier when he killed one of the other demons from behind, basically. Now is the time to display human strength. Do it for Lucid and me. Lucid? This cannot be, but the feeling is definitely here. Lucid is the guardian of desire. Desire is the only bond I have to the battlefield. Why would a guardian side with a demon enemy? Wake up, princess. We cannot beat them by daydreaming. Look at them. We better be ready. Even if you're ready, he's pretty much gonna tear through Okami like it's nothing. Honestly, my advice might be just to defend and like have her like heal herself. And hope this don't stick. Yeah, counterattack. Okay. Gatling rain. Even if you get rid of um, Lucid, he just brings it right on back, so there's no point in attacking it. It only mildly hinders it. I'll use a potion berry. Why do I keep having Okami here heal herself? Well, just to keep her alive for this battle. Basically. Dang, they're all getting up on Lobo. Hmm. We'll connect. Oh, we did enough damage to end the fight right then and there. Good. I was curious to see your skill. But don't worry, we'll finish this battle later. That was impressive amount of damage there. Too bad you can't do it more often, but good move. Though I've been told Clan Jane can do far more damage. Are you running away? From you? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I'll finish you later. But now's not the time. What? Currently you're no threat to me, but fear not. Although you are as dull as rocks now, with training you will shine with strength. Once you shine, we shall meet again for battle. But for now, live for today. Don't get me wrong, to live for today is to be stronger than yesterday. If you think having more power will get you where I am, I'll let you have some anytime. Wait. Lucid. Why have you joined an enemy of Philgaia? Haven't we already read in a book elsewhere that he joined with the enemies of Philgaia in the last Great War and was banished because of it? Does she not read her history books? Whatever. I saved the rune drive. But that's not enough to bring us victory. You saved it? I'm pretty sure my Gatling raid saved it. And only impressing him for the moment. <laughs> Unless we start attacking, we'll not save what's important. We need to leave the rune drive with Nicholai. Nickel, whatever. He can safely keep it out of those demons' hands. How do you know he can keep it safely out of their hands? Did you read the script? Last I checked, he didn't seem like the most dangerous of individuals. Oh, I'm gonna assume there's other reasons they think he can do a better job keeping it safe than them. Well, I 
guess I'll return this real quick and that'll be the end of this episode. Okay, we're facing the right way. Good. We'll just run the town then. Here knows me as their big sister. Don't forget that. I'll assume he's still in the basement then? I guess that's a sensible decision. Hmm. Let's see if one path is located northwest of the village, on the tip of the nearby island. I got that. I have to go into items and just flash it out at him. Okay, there we go. Is this it? The rune drive? Never imagined that it would be found after all, amidst all the clutter. What a surprising discovery! Are you aware of the power of the rune drive? It amplifies energy so that. Oh, excuse me, I got a little carried away. Let's eat before the meal gets cold. I'll gladly talk more about the rune drive tomorrow. My daughter does not like to hear me ramble. I don't like to listen to you ramble either, but it might be important, so I guess I got to. This chow mein is delicious. Well, why don't you try some before it gets cold? Rune drive is known for its powerful energy output capabilities. I understand you're concerned about the demons obtaining such a device and misusing it. Why don't we keep the rune drive at the barrier shelter? We can move it there tomorrow. It is sometimes important to forget about studying and to get out and experience life. I don't want to grow old without the experience of eating good meals and sharing a good laugh with my friends. Are you enjoying the party? Since you're the honorary guest here, feel free to eat and drink all you want. I just gotta go talk to everyone, maybe? I hope. Sooner or later, we'll be facing the big and vicious demons. I feel like building my energy level up by eating lots of meat. I love how I feel from this place. It makes my whiskers tingle. This is certainly a welcome break after all that constant battling. So everyone says wine is so good, I just try it, but it's terrible. I'll stick with orange juice. That's what you say now. Hey, listen. Doesn't the food look good today? They have all the food I like. I'm really happy there's no nasty vegetable juice, too. Wish every day was a party. Are you drunk, little girl? Can't believe they let a little kid like you have wine. Pretty liberal place, I guess. Is it the music that makes me go wild? Or am I just the p using the party as an excuse to let loose? Enjoying the feast? Jane did a good job of cooking today. Oh, if you see her, please give her my best regards. Hey, Lobo. You come and see me after the party when everyone's asleep? There's something I need to talk to you about. And please don't bring anybody else with you. I don't want too many people to know about this. Uh, nothing. Well, who else is there to talk to? Was there someone else in the basement? I guess that's possible, but I doubt it. Um. 
Pretty sure I was in this room earlier, so there's... Uh, whatever. Does that get everyone now? Um, do I just choose the rest without even realizing it? Thank you for staying up with me. You didn't tell anyone, right? The infamous Clowny Jane became a bounty hunter to support the village. What a sappy sentimental story. I bet you thought I was lame when you found out. Thanks. You really are nice. You know, my family started out wealthy, that we lived in a prosperous town before. But somehow we ended up here. There's nothing out here. In fact, it used to be only our house and the orphanage. My dad was supporting all of us, so the money went quickly. You all had to work hard just to survive out here. I didn't like it at first, but that changed. Kids love me. They look up to me. <laughs> they even call me the warden. Too fast. Have you ever hated someone or been hated by someone? What am I saying? No guy the type that's ever had to deal with that kind of stuff. I like that my dad brought us here. Sometimes I think I hate him. Just don't think that in this day and age, being sensitive, gracious does anyone any good, but that's all he cares about. He just avoids the bitter and cruel reality. Life isn't fair. It doesn't pay to be nice. Jane. So why are you really on a quest to save Gaia? There's got to be some reason. What's in it for you? Is it the money? The fame? Or do you want to be a king? Just please don't tell me you're doing this just for the good of all the people in the world. I can be so generous with people you don't even know. I can't understand that. Because life isn't kind like that. There has to be a real reason. Or maybe... Sorry. I just feel a little miserable knowing that you saved me only but of courtesy. You know, there are nights when I don't think the sun will ever rise again. The morning always comes in Philgaia, both good mornings and not so good mornings. Promise me one thing. You are saving Philgaia because you love Philgaia. And you're willing to die for it, because you love it so much. I'll believe you, even though I don't understand you. You're just like my dad that way. I never knew that was how she always felt. I was right. What she needs is not me, but... Oh no, this is not good. Lobo, I wanted to tell you... Don't you just love my impeccable timing? <laughs> What? Who dares? Please, if I may just interrupt. You get to be my age. You think you have seen it all. 
I've never seen anyone as rude or ignorant as you. Magdalene, what are you doing here? We can discuss that later, but right now... We need to take care of this guy. I wasn't counting on this. Carrots. Uh, let's see. Um. Punishment, huh? Still not enough to eliminate it. Okay, we'll take the force carrot. Nothing. Ah, shoot. Shoot. Please finish this. Follow me. Come on, die. the shell. I'm just gonna have to learn all these enemies. This guy's the worst timing, I swear. I wasn't expecting another boss battle this soon. Get out of my arena. left as minions, I guess. Got 
got it. And only one remains. Great, he brought him back. Still end soon. entire group, I guess. Just can't keep the fear cleared. Cleared. Just go away. I guess we'll do jack all right. reviving them and just go away. this again. Just let me clear the field out, please. Are you done yet? Make a move. Boy, time flies when you're having fun. As much as I'd hate to interrupt our little tea party, I need to discuss business. How about you take your business elsewhere? Because we have nothing to discuss. I'm here to take back the rune drive which Boomerang shamelessly let fall into your hands. Give me three hours to get it and hand it to me. If you refuse, I'll have to trample these humans like the ants they are and recover it myself. I'm waiting for your answer. <laughs> What difference does it make? You're going to kill us all anyway. Hmm. 
We have to hurry and wake everyone up. Evacuate to the barrier shelter with the rune drive. The shelter, which is to the southwest, will not be easy for them to access. Appreciate your willingness to fight for the village, but... My daughter said the enemy will not be easy to defeat. Please note the shelter is also open to you at any time. Set out, Jane. I want you to take the rear position. Will do. Too quiet. Where do you think they are? Should we check on the others? You sound pretty serious. You think it was just a threat? Yes, well, I'm gonna be stopping here for now. Until next time, then. See ya.